Energy is the foundation of everything in our modern lives. However, we face a considerable problem. Fossil fuels remain dominant. Renewable alone is insufficient. And electricity demand is only increasing with the rise of AI, data centers, and electrification. One company making big waves is Oklo, ticker symbol OKLO, a pre-revenue small modular reactor company backed by some of the biggest names in tech and finance. In this video, we'll break down what problem Oklo is solving, how they plan to do it, who is behind them, their total addressable market, their competitive mode, and their roadmap to commercialization. Ultimately, I'll take it back to another pre-revenue company I'm personally invested in, Aduro Clean Technologies, which is tackling the global plastic waste crisis. Both show how early stage companies can command multi-billion dollar valuations because of the scale of the problem that they're solving. The world needs more clean, reliable and affordable energy. Renewables like wind and solar are critical, but they have one drawback, intermittency. The sun doesn't always shine, the wind doesn't always blow, and large-scale batteries are still expensive and resource-intensive. On the other side, conventional nuclear energy is powerful, but it's plagued by extremely high costs, massive infrastructure and public safety concerns. Traditional reactors are billion-dollar, decade-long projects. This is where Oklo steps in. Their mission? Deliver small module reactors, SMRs, that are cheaper, safer, scalable, and designed to provide reliable carbon-free energy 24-7. Oklo is building next-generation nuclear power plants, but instead of traditional huge reactors, their systems are compact, modular, and factory-built. Their flagship design, the Aurora Powerhouse, is a micro-reactor intended to produce around 15 megawatts of electricity, enough to power thousands of homes or an industrial site. What are the key innovations? They run on high-assay, low-enriched uranium, which is safer, more efficient. They have a walk-away safe design, meaning they don't need constant human intervention. They are designed to operate for up to 10 years without refueling. In short, Oklo's pitch is nuclear power at a smaller, cheaper, and safer scale, making it accessible to communities, data centers, industrial parks, and even defense installations. Oklo has some heavyweight backing. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is one of the biggest backers and serves as the chairman of the board. He personally invested over 375 million in Oklo, demonstrating his conviction that nuclear power will drive AI-driven future. Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is also a notable supporter, adding Oklo to her disruptive innovation ETFs. The company was co-founded by Caroline Cochran and Jacob Dewett, two MIT-trained engineers who've been working on advanced nuclear designs for over a decade. With tech visionaries, institutional capital, and nuclear expertise all coming together, Oklo isn't just a science project. It is a serious contender in the race to modernize nuclear. Let's talk numbers. The total addressable market for Oklo is massive. Global electricity demand is projected to grow by more than 50% by 2040. Data centers alone, driven by AI, cloud computing, and crypto, are expected to consume 10% of the world's electricity by 2030. Nuclear currently provides about 10% of world's electricity, but it's mostly from aging large-scale plants. Oklo's model opens up new customers who could never really justify a massive reactor like remote communities, heavy industry, military bases, and data centers. 
We're talking about a multi-trillion dollar global power market. Even capturing a tiny fraction could mean billions in revenue potential. So what's Oculus Moat? First, technology. Their Aurora design and safety systems are unique with multiple patents. Second, regulatory head start. Oclo was the first advanced fission company to submit a combined license application to the NRC. While they faced setbacks and a rejection in 2022, they're now refiling with a stronger case. That regulatory experience is a moat in itself. It's not easy for competitors to navigate. Third, backing and partnerships. Having Sam Altman and ARK invest in their corner leads them both credibility and access to capital. Finally, first mover advantage. If Oclo is among the first to get SMRs commercially licensed in the US, that opens up the floodgates for contracts. Where are they now? Well, Oclo is a pre-revenue company, but with a clear roadmap. Licensing and approval, their NRC reapplication is underway. Demonstration planned. First, Aurora reactor expected later this decade. Commercial development, they are targeting deployments for data centers and industrial customers in the early 2030s. Yes, this is a long game. Nuclear always is. But if they succeed, they could be one of the most disruptive energy companies in the world. Oclo isn't alone. Competitors include New Scale Power, already publicly traded but facing cost challenges, Terra Power, backed by Bill Gates, X Energy, another advanced SMR player. But Oclo differentiates itself by focusing on small, scalable reactors instead of larger designs. Think of it as aiming to be the Tesla Roadster of nuclear, proving the model first and then scaling. So why does this matter to us as investors? Oclo is a pre-revenue company. They haven't built a commercial plant yet, but because of the massive problem that they're solving, they trade at a multi-billion dollar valuation. This reminds me of another company I'm heavily invested in, Aduro Clean Technologies. I own about $4 million of Aduro, about 1% of all the shares. Aduro is addressing one of the world's most significant environmental challenges, plastic waste recycling. Their hydrochemolytic technology can recycle mixed and contaminated plastics economically, something paralysis and other methods have failed to do. Aduro is about 18 to 24 months from commercial scale, with insiders owning about 39% of the company. Institutions just beginning to discover it at only 1% ownership and a market cap of about $400 million. The upside? Phew. Well, if Aduro scales as planned, it could see a valuation trajectory similar to early stage nuclear innovators like Oclo. The stock price of Aduro has been almost a 10 beggar since 2022 and more and more investors are discovering it today. So I suggest you take a look at it. In both cases, Oclo with nuclear and Aduro with plastics, we observed how companies tackling significant global issues can justify multi-billion dollar valuations even before generating revenues. And for Aduro, it is still early days. So there you have it, Oclo's vision to reinvent nuclear energy and why I see parallels with Aduro's journey in recycling. If you found this breakdown valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment. Are you bullish on nuclear SMRs? Or do you think plastic recycling will see the bigger wave? As always, this is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the following video.